keeping the rave alive. This is Guns for Hire. You're tuned in to Kutsky. Come on! Oi, Kutsky, your name's not down. You're not coming in. This is Promo, and you're tuned in to Keeping the Rave Alive with the one and only Mr. Kutsky. Hey guys, it's DJ Anime, and this is Kutsky in Keeping the Rave Alive. Yo, Kutsky, this is DJ Isaac from Holland. This is Max from Forza. Yo, what's up? This is MC Whiskey. Keep the Rave Alive, man. Yo, this is Gecko, and you're listening to Keeping the Rave Alive with the one, the only DJ Kutsky. Keeping the Rave Alive with Kutsky. Bring you the rush. Yes, yes, welcome back to another edition of Keeping the Rave Alive with myself, Kutsky. Still out on tour, actually in my hotel room in Sydney this time. So first of all, I want to say a massive shout out to everybody who I caught up with. It's a long time since I've been out in Australia. It was pre-pandemic last time I was out here. So yeah, so it's wicked to catch up with everybody in Sydney and in Brisbane as well. Awesome, awesome parties. Since last week's show when I was losing my voice a little bit in the hotel room in Bali with the air conditioning, I've managed to completely lose my voice and then kind of get it back again a little bit. So again, I'm not going to punish you with my croaky coughing and clearing my throat all the time. We're going to jump into the mix relentlessly again this week with a little bit of a hipster show. While I've been travelling, I've been listening to a lot of old school rave stuff from like the, the very early 90s and not necessarily the most commercial anthems that everybody remembers either, but I really love that underground old school sound and I think it really helps me a lot with modern music as well because it really puts me back in tune with where the scene came from and what the roots of our sound actually are. So I'm not going to lie to you, it's not the most anthem bashing filled show you're going to hear for the next hour but what I can promise you is it is authentic. I was too young to be going out to the raves back then, I was only about 10 years old, but I had an older sister that was super into the music, so I was really in tune with all the tape packs and listening to, you know, what the actual sound was back then. So I'd like to think, even though I might be a little bit young, I'm somewhat qualified to take you on a journey of the early 90s rave scene. Just before we do get into the mix, as always, I want to thank everyone supporting me on Patreon. Link in the description, patreon.com slash KTRA, where if you enjoy this show and you love the full spectrum of the harder styles of dance music and appreciate what I do here on the show each and every week, you can get more shows in your life, up to an extra three shows per week from as little as £2 per month, and you help me out a lot with that and get a lot of extra music in your life to keep you busy going around your life in between the weekend raves. So again, link in the description, patreon.com slash KTRA. But right about now, we wind the clock back a good 30 years, which is insane when you think about it like that. A history lesson in the roots of rave music with myself, Kutsky, in the mix here on Keeping the Rave Alive. Enjoy. K-U-T-S-K-I, Kutsky, in the place. Wind up your ways. All right. Yeah, boy. This is Billy Daniel Butter, Kutsky. Take him back to the old school!
Hope you enjoyed that mix. Congratulations for making it this far. You're either really old, like me, to appreciate all of this classic music, or you're a very astute student of the rave scene. So if you're under the age of 30 and you've made it this far, you can have a diploma in rave music from the University of Keeping the Rave Alive. If you want the full track listening for everything you've heard on the show, as always, head over to our website, keepingtheraveralive.com. You can download all the shows, find all the links to everything we talk about and all of that good business. But now, seems as we're going old school, it's time to wind up the show with that one last track, the one we call The Final Vinyl. Now, technically, this isn't actually a vinyl because obviously I'm in my hotel room, but I have got a vinyl recording of one of my favourite early jungle tunes, which kind of was at the split when rave music went its separate ways with a happy hardcore sound. Absolutely love this track. We're going to wind up the show with Chrome Time, The Licence. Okay, just before we let this one run, I want to give a quick shout out to the people that have very generously supported me with the virtual beers on the show. You know the score by now, it's the tip system on the show, beer.keepingtheravealive.com. If you appreciate what I put into this show each and every week, uh, you can buy me a virtual beer on there. Greatly appreciated covering server costs along with uh, Patreon and all that good stuff. So a big shout out to Craig, who bought me a beer and says, thank you very much for visiting our little city of Brisbane. Had a top night and you'll set was money following Steve Hill. I was the dude proudly wearing my KTRA t-shirt, leading the charge at the front of the dance floor. Yes, Craig, I saw you, mate. Thank you very much for the support and glad you had a good night. It was good fun, wasn't it? Awesome vibes in Brisbane. Also, shout out to Knowles. Thanks very much for the support there. Big up to Flash Harry, saying thank you for all the hard beats, cut ski. Just finished my second summer of love raving again with my wingman, Dan, after a little break from raving for family life. I'm moving to Abu Dhabi this weekend with my family. So that'll be another break from raving, but your show will keep me supplied. Good luck with the move, Dan. I actually moved countries, didn't I, a couple of years ago. So yeah, it's not as scary as you think. So good luck with that, mate. And glad you're going to keep up to date with the rave scene with our show. Lastly, I want to give a shout out to somebody that actually didn't leave their name, but they left a message saying thanks for the beats. So I'm sure you're listening out there. Thank you very much for that. Do appreciate that. And again, the link is beer.keepingtheravealive.com. I'll drop it in the description of the show and it's on the Keeping the Rave Alive website if you enjoyed the show and you would like to kindly support me like these guys have you can leave your name and message on there and i can give you a little shout out and show you some love at the end of the show next week but right about now i'm off to pack and get sorted because i'm playing two shows in kl this weekend so big up to everybody in kuala lumpur look forward to raving out there another place that i haven't been for a little while i'll be back on the show with a halloween special next week which is always one of the best shows of the year i think so i'm looking forward to putting that one together thanks for joining me yet again on a bit of a deeper underground show have a safe weekend out raving and i will catch you soon until then it's kutsky signing out keeping the rave alive thanks for joining now this happens to be dj kutsky taking you back to the old school all right <laughs> all right do you have a license for play this oh my operator and have a license man if you get a license to play them kind of don't play it here you know you see what get lock up sure. i tell you you're the address you know
discharge and kind of dub up on people in a set ears. Circle. Yeah, we do. 